If you've watched my channel long enough, you know that there's very little I agree with Dave Ramsey on, and Roth conversions are no exception. The biggest issue I have with Dave Ramsey's view on Roth conversions, and well, just about any other topic, is that he's trying so hard to prescribe a one-size-fits-all paint-by-the-number solution for his listeners that critical details get omitted. These are the types of important details that end up costing his listeners hundreds of thousands of dollars and force them to run out of money years in advance of life expectancy. Let's take a look at the section of Dave Ramsey's website that discusses Roth conversions and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Dave actually starts off on the right foot. Let's take a listen. Well, given today's reduced individual tax rates, you may wind up in a higher tax bracket in retirement. So paying the taxes up front for a Roth conversion, if you can afford it, and getting the money out tax-free in retirement is one of those times when paying a little now can save you a bundle later. Nice job, Dave. A good summation of why the Roth conversion makes sense. Had he stopped there, I wouldn't be making this video. But he didn't stop there and soon careened wildly off the tracks. Let's keep reading. There are two main tax considerations that can help you decide if the Roth conversion would work for you. Tax rates and if you have the cash on hand to pay those taxes on the conversion. Let's talk about tax rates first because the conversion amount is added to your taxable income. It could potentially bump up your tax bracket. So for example, a married couple filing jointly in 2020, his website hasn't been updated in a while, but we'll run with these numbers, with a taxable income of $100,000, pays 22% in taxes and can convert up to $71,050 without hitting the next tax bracket, which begins at $171,051 and is taxed at 24%. Now paying the taxes on this conversion would break down like this. Let's say you have $100,000 in a traditional 401k and you want to convert it to a Roth IRA. You'll pay 22% on the first $71,050, $15,631 in taxes and 24% on the remaining $28,950, $6,948 in taxes for a total tax hit of $22,579 on the conversion. Okay, Dave Ramsey is to be commended for this idea of maxing out your existing tax bracket when doing a Roth conversion. This is a fairly common prescription, but he warns that one of the drawbacks of failing to do so is that you could bump up into a higher tax bracket. And amazingly, the poster child he uses for this mistake is the 24% tax bracket. He says that if you have $100,000 of income and wanted to do a $100,000 Roth conversion, you could convert $71,050, again, his outdated 2020 numbers, without bumping up into the 24% tax bracket. He then warns that the consequence for converting the full $100,000 is that you would have to pay 24% tax on the remaining $28,950. Folks, reading this on Dave's website was a facepalm moment for me. Instead of talking about the 24% tax bracket as an opportunity, as the sweet spot in the Trump tax cuts, he portrays it as the penalty for what happens if you get too overzealous in your Roth conversion strategy. Folks, if you're okay with the 22% tax bracket, why wouldn't you take full advantage of the 24% tax bracket as well? For only 2% more, it allows you to convert another $170,000 or so to your tax-free bucket. In fact, if you have a million dollars or more in your IRA, I would venture to say that you'll never convert it to Roth before tax rates go up for good without taking advantage of the 24% bracket. So no, the 24% tax bracket is not a liability. It's a massive sweet spot and what I routinely refer to as the tax sale of a lifetime. Okay, so Ramsey really drops the ball on the first factor he asks you to consider when doing a Roth conversion, tax brackets. Let's see how he does with the second variable. Next, he asks you to consider how you're planning on paying the taxes on the Roth conversion. Let's read what he says. And you want to seriously consider doing a Roth conversion only if you can afford to pay the tax bill with cash. No exceptions, guys. A conversion could add thousands of dollars to your tax bill. Okay, did Dave Ramsey really just say that? Unless my eyes betray me, he emphatically stated that you should never consider a Roth conversion unless you have money sitting in cash with which to pay the taxes. Folks, do you know how many people I come across day in and day out that have enough money in cash to actually pay the tax? on their Roth conversion, maybe like 5%. And that's on a good day. It's more like they have a million dollars in their IRA and maybe $100,000 in their savings account. That's their emergency fund. Hardly enough to pay the tax on their entire Roth conversion. In other words, if everyone followed Ramsey's advice, only about 5% of all investors would ever even consider the Roth conversion. 
Now let me be clear, there are two instances where you will have to use cash to pay taxes on your Roth conversion when you're younger than 59 and a half and when you're doing a Roth 401k conversion. Both scenarios require you to use cash to pay the tax on your conversion. But Dave's website doesn't make this distinction. So you're simply left to conclude that the only time you should ever do a Roth conversion is if you have enough money in cash with which to pay the tax. Let me give you an example to show you the folly of what Dave is recommending here. Let's say you have a million dollars in your IRA, $100,000 in cash, and you're absolutely convinced that tax rates in our country could double by 2030 to pay for unfunded obligations like Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and interest on the national debt. According to Dave Ramsey, unless you have enough money in cash with which to pay the full tax on that Roth conversion, let's call it $300,000, he absolutely forbids you from doing a Roth conversion. Folks, if you don't have cash to pay the tax, there is no harm in having the IRS withhold the tax from the Roth conversion itself. It's not optimal, but it's far better than the alternative, which is to simply leave the money in your IRA and watch helplessly as tax rates double over time. In other words, according to Dave Ramsey, you're much better off losing a substantial portion of your IRA to rising taxes than pay the tax out of the IRA itself. Huh? Folks, you're going to have to pay taxes out of that IRA sooner or later. So what's the harm in paying it now at historically low tax rates? Tax rates are low. And if you're over age 59 and a half, there are no penalties for doing so. Well, I was just about to conclude my critique of Dave Ramsey's ill-fated prescription for Roth conversions when a third detail on his website caught my eye. Take a listen. When it comes to Roth conversions, it could be the right call for you if your timeline to retirement is more than five years. The money you convert into a Roth IRA must stay there for a five-year period. If you withdraw money before the five-year period, you may pay a 10% penalty and additional income taxes. Here, Ramsey identifies the five-year rule that says you may pay a 10% penalty and additional income taxes if you access your converted dollars inside a five-year window. First of all, the 10% penalty on the five-year waiting period is targeted at people who are younger than 59 and a half as a way of preventing them from simply converting their IRA to Roth at, say, age 50, and then accessing that money without penalty. But what Ramsey doesn't tell you is that if you're over age 59 and a half, the 10% penalty won't apply to you. Why? Because 10% penalties only apply to people who are younger than 59 and a half. The other thing that bothers me about this explanation is that if you take Ramsey at his word, you shouldn't consider a Roth conversion unless you're five years or more from retirement. Again, this is lunacy. When you're working, you may be at a higher tax bracket, which could cause you to pay more in taxes than necessary, particularly if you're in the 32% bracket or higher. If you're retired and over age 59 and a half, you will likely be at a lower tax bracket and the 10% penalty for converting will no longer apply to you. So, Ramsey somehow managed to depict the Roth conversion five-year rule and the 10% penalty that results as a reason to not consider a Roth conversion in retirement, which is likely the period in your life when you should most consider a Roth conversion. In summary, Ramsey's explanation of Roth conversions is disastrous at every turn. First, he doesn't understand that the 24% bracket is the sweet spot in the Trump tax cuts and should figure prominently in your Roth conversion strategy, particularly if you have a large balance in your IRA. Second, he insists that you should only do a Roth conversion if you have cash on hand with which to pay the tax. And finally, he says you should only consider a Roth conversion if you're five years or more from retirement. Folks, if Dave Ramsey were any more wrong on Roth conversions, he'd be veering his way back towards right again. Why does Dave Ramsey make such disastrously wrong prescriptions when it comes to these types of strategies? Again, because he's addressing a huge audience. He doesn't have the luxury of nuance. He must dispense one size fits all, paint by the number financial planning advice that more often than not flies in the face of reason. And that's why when it comes to making important decisions about your retirement plan, you should avoid financial gurus like Dave Ramsey at all costs. Folks, in the next 10 years, I'm looking to put 100,000 Americans on the road to the 0% tax bracket. If you'd like some help getting on the road to a tax-free retirement, be sure to check out my tax-free toolkit. You can download it for free at taxfreetoolkit.com. If you're a financial professional and want to learn how to become a certified Power Zero advisor, head over to powerzero.com and opt into my free three-part video series. By the way, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comments section below. I respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.